Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first digital web launch by Mercedes-Benz Malaysia. Today, we are proud to bring you not one, but three exciting new additions to the fast and exhilarating Mercedes-AMG family. My name is Hannah Tan, and I'll be keeping you company throughout the show. It is such a privilege to be able to journey with Mercedes-Benz through the different milestones over the years. Now, the world has faced an unprecedented time while affecting so many industries, including the automotive sector. Nevertheless, Mercedes-Benz is not backing down from working towards leading the market with a new normal and delivering its promise to giving the best innovation and best customer experience. So, for the first time in its history, Mercedes-Benz today will present these cars as a purely digital premiere. Now, the new generation Mercedes-AMG cars combine outstanding performance with spaciousness, practicality, comfort, and advanced pioneering technologies, connectivity, and a state-of-the-art infotainment system. We're very grateful that you chose to spend the afternoon with us. And if you're watching this, we want to give you an opportunity to interact with us. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment box. And at the end of the presentation, we'll select a few to answer. Now, before we go into the big reveal, here with me today is the President and CEO of Mercedes-Benz Malaysia, Dr. Klaus Weidner. Dr. Weidner, thank you so much for having me. It's an absolute honor. Now, as Mercedes-Benz Malaysia returns to business, how is the current situation in Malaysia affecting Mercedes-Benz Malaysia? Yeah, good afternoon, <laughs> Hannah, and it's great to have you here uh, in this so very much. special occasion which we are having today uh, yeah. with the launch of our new AMG cars. Yeah, um, uh, as you know, also Mercedes-Benz Malaysia was affected quite uh, heavily by the lockdown uh, and situation on the COVID-19 yeah, in the last two months. But we are very happy to be back in business. In the uh, yeah, beginning of May, we started up our workshops uh, and also now our showrooms are open. And yeah. we are also back to the office here. Um, and it's great to see that also we can care for our customers in a, in a different way. We did it also during this period, right, yeah. keeping contact with the customers. So really going forward and uh, continuing our strategy of caring for our customers in all the situations. Brilliant. Mercedes-Benz is a company with illustrious <laughs> history and success. So how is the brand pushing forward post-COVID-19? We're definitely continuing our strategy, which is uh, providing the best customer experience in all ways. Uh, mm -hmm. so in this kind of situation, definitely digital touch points got much more important than before. Yeah. So we're rolling out uh, one or the other topics here in this regard. And this occasion today is definitely one of the things we're doing new. And I'm very happy and proud that we can stage this yeah, um, and really to contact, uh, connect with our customers also in a different way. We are heading to a seamless uh, offline to online um, customer journey, customer experience. So also in um, our retail um, operations, uh, yeah. we're looking definitely into providing much, much more uh, experiences. In That's great to know. Could you tell us more about the launch today? Well, we are very happy to launch um, yeah, the newest range of our AMG compact cars here uh, in Malaysia with three great new models, um, mm -hmm. two hatchback A-classes. One is the A35 Formatic, the mm -hmm. other one is the A45 S Formatic Plus, and as well um, yeah, the coupe, yeah, the CLA 45S Formatic Plus. And these great cars are a, a super combination of, uh, of technology mm -hmm. on the hardware side mm -hmm. with engines, great engines, great performance, um, driving systems and design, as well as on the software side, uh, where they basically put everything in, in the package uh, from the MBUX the entertainment system to the MMC, the Mercedes Meal Connect to give our customers a great combination of fun, performance, and sportiness. Thank you so much, Dr. Thanks. Weidner. Great to hear from you. Well, I personally am excited to see what else Mercedes-Benz has in store yeah. for us. For those of you who are watching, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment box. And at the end of the presentation, we'll select a few to answer. Well, you're excited. I'm excited. So here it goes.
welcome Michael Yup, Vice President, Sales and Marketing, Mercedes-Benz Malaysia. Thank you so much, Hannah. <laughs> yes, uh, indeed, it's great to be back after this long COVID-19 break. And we are really happy to be back in business um, here at Mercedes-Benz Malaysia, as well as our, our um, dealer partners. Yep. And uh, all of us, we are really uh, ready to throttle throughout the rest of the year. Brilliant. We can't wait to see what else Mercedes-Benz Malaysia has in store for us. And I'm sure you're very excited to share with us the powerful Mercedes-AMG trio today. Yes, Hannah. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, we are very excited uh, to launch a jaw-dropping jaw selection of uh, compact Mercedes-AMG sports cars. And um, it's three of them today. Um, to my right, we have the AMG A35 Edition 1 hatchback. To the far left, um, which is your right side, mm -hmm. uh, we have the AMG A45S Edition 1 hatchback. Yep. And um, as a first time premiere in Malaysia, we have the new Mercedes AMG CLA S45S Coupe. Wow. Could you tell us more about how these cars came about? It all started with the premiere of the first Mercedes AMG A45 about seven years ago. It was the first compact performance model from Mercedes AMG, our entrance into a new era. As an attractive entry-level model, the Mercedes AMG A45 has opened up further markets for AMG. The market segment for powerful, sport, compact cars continues to be a highly dynamic growth area. It allows us to reach out to new target groups, including younger customers. Then, the lone A45 quickly evolved into a family of compact performance models to include the CLA and the GLA. This success has encouraged us to further expand our portfolio and place it on a broader footing. This is where the A35 comes in. With the 306 horsepowers and the performance-oriented setup, it kind of strikes the middle ground between the Mercedes A250 and the Mercedes AMG A45. And it's a perfect entry into the world of AMG driving performance. And um, the A35, which was previously already available as a sedan, is now also available as a hatchback model. Excellent. Now, I heard that there are changes in these cars compared to its predecessors. What are we looking at? Well, I mean, it's not just subtle changes, um, because when we designed, our designers um, and engineers started to work on these cars, it's basically they looked at every, every screw and turned it around yep. and really developed all the cars, chassis, um, engine, everything uh, right from the scratch. The benchmark uh, for the successors was actually quite high, and this is why our engineers couldn't just uh, change and turn a few screws. They yep. really had to develop the cars from, uh, from bottom up, the ch chassis, powertrain, engine, everything, so they're really right. brand new engines. And uh, now looking at the AMG A35, um, it's, um, it's uh, also an all-new four-cylinder engine, uh, which is tuned to AMG standards and now develops 306 horsepower and 400 newton meters, so really offers a very dynamic driving performance. When talking about um, the A45, mm -hmm. it's actually about an all-new engine. Mm -hmm. It's the, our M139 engine, which is uh, most probably the most powerful four-cylinder mass-produced engine in the world. With a staggering 424, uh, 421 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, um, they offer acceleration from zero to 100 in less than four seconds. That's really amazing performance. Oh, sounds like it's built for a true sports car. And when we actually take a look under the hood, you can see the most noticeable change. It's the reversed mounting position of the engine, uh, which means the engine is rotated by 180 degrees so that it takes less space up at the top and at the same time also allows for a flatter nose of the car. As you see now, the exhaust manifold and turbocharger are at the rear, whereas the intake system is at the front. This results to several advantages, particularly in terms of aerodynamics. The modified position allows for a flat, more aerodynamic front design, at the same time optimize the airflow in the engine compartment. The crankcase is made of light and highly stable solid aluminum, as proven in racing, and another example is the nanoslide coating, which reduces friction between the pistons and the cylinder walls. Nanoslide has also proven itself in our Formula One engines. Sounds like it was built for a true sports car. Yeah, that's for sure. The surge of power, the rush of adrenaline, it will definitely be a very wild ride once you get behind the steering wheel of this car. And the engines are manufactured by hand, according mm -hmm. to our one engine, one man principle um, by our colleagues in Afalterbach. And uh, for the power transfer of the two uh, 45S are provided by the new AMG SpeedShift DCT 8G dual clutch transmission, which also allows for a race start function. So it's very exciting to really get behind the wheel again here. That. And uh, because of the high engine power, we also developed an all new Formatic Plus 
all-wheel drive system, right. which also offers uh, some specific features. Um, it increases traction even further and even allows for a drifting mode, which raises the fun factor when you drive the car. Wow, that is quite the upgrade indeed. Now, all that performance must come from a great looking car. And we all know that supercars are highly emotional cars. They're sporty, exciting, and incredibly sexy. So let's talk about the design. I'm sure a lot of AMG elements are incorporated into these compact car models. Yes, Hannah, you're absolutely right. But let me first talk a little bit about the colors because I think they're a part of the design and they're also very beautiful. Sure. We have the A35 um, in denim blue. In the center, we have the CLA and Jupiter Red. And uh, probably the most stunning color for me is the uh, Sunbeam Yellow on the AMG A45. I'm with you on that. <laughs> but now, if we actually have a look, closer look at the car and uh, the design cues, um, obviously, uh, yes, we have a very aggressive front. Mm -hmm. um, and we see the A-type um, radiator grille with 12 vertical fins that we see here. Yep. Uh, we have the Jetwing so-called design front apron. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have uh, huge air intakes. Yep. We have the power domes on the hood. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not only what we see outside, it's also form follows function. Um, actually, our engineers put in a wider front axle right. um, under the car on the 45 models, which allows for a better lateral acceleration. So ultimately, all more, more fun to drive. I'm in love. It's gorgeous. Yes. And uh, we can continue even forward, uh, further with the uh, CLA 45. Um, because it's obviously it's also an all-new model, uh, while it retains its uh, coupe-like form, mm -hmm. um, very elegant, yes. uh, with the with the wider side sc AMG side skirts, um, it also pushes the car more visually to the ground yeah. and gives a more sporting look and appeal. Stunning. Everything looks like it's designed to create the closest possible link between man and machine. So the motto form follows function, which you mentioned earlier. Does it apply to the interior as well? Yes, of course, it also applies to the interior. And um, if you have a closer look in the interior, it can also happily demonstrate to you. Now, if you have a closer look in the interior, uh, we obviously have our AMG performance seats. Um, in the interior, there's also our AMG performance sports steering wheel, which even has customizable buttons um, to control. And um, MBUX. We have two 12-inch screens um, where I can control at the touch of a button. And uh, to conclude my presentation, um, obviously the most exciting part is when I start the engine at the push of a button. And that's pure adrenaline. Yeah, so now let me talk a little bit more about the AMG A45 as Edition 1 model. Um, and the Edition 1 model is obviously is a limited model and um, it has some uh, significant visual differences. Mm -hmm. It starts with the larger front splitter that we can see here. Right. Uh, we have also fins on the side. Mm -hmm. And um, let me also spend some time on these beautiful headlamps. Um, not only do they look gorgeous, um, they also provide superior technology, um, brilliant illumination at night. Yes. And um, since they are uh, fully adaptable, they can also adjust to your driving conditions, uh, full beam, partial full beam, and low beam, um, depending on your choice. Exceptional. Um, if you have a further look um, to some of the other elements, um, the car also comes with a night package, which means here we can see the black mirror housing, um, and also the matte painted black um, aluminum wheels, uh, which we are here have a 19 inch, five uh, twin spoke design, aero design, um, which also really complements the car beautifully. Very sleek indeed. Now, to conclude, I suggest let's move over to the A35. Sure, after you. Yeah, now let's have a look at the AMG A35 Edition 1, um, which is also as stunning as the two other cars that we have looked at before. Um, and on this car, actually, I would only like to point out uh, some of the Edition 1 features, which is here, especially about the color. Mm -hmm. It's then in blue. And for me, the combination with this um, gold-appointed uh, machine multi-spoke um, rims yeah. plus the um, gold decals look really outstanding on this car as well. Stunning. Everything looks like it's designed to create the closest possible link between man and machine. Absolutely. The motto which you uh, mentioned earlier, form follows function. Does it apply to the interior as well? It also applies to the interior here, as we have seen. The beautiful interior appointments on this car include AMG Sport Seats, 
AMG steering wheel, including shift pedals, as well as aluminum decors in the interior. And uh, all three cars are also equipped with Mercedes Me Connect, um, the feature that we uh, recently launched. And uh, it's a communication model which allows our customers to stay in touch mm -hmm. with their cars from anywhere else in the world. And right. it also allows our customers um, to obtain assistance at the touch of a button. Right. Uh, but it's not only about Mercedes Me Connect. These cars are also equipped with uh, MBUX, Mercedes-Benz User Experience, uh, which is actually right now the most acclaimed um, uh, interaction between car and driver, I think, anywhere in the world. And uh, the Mercedes-Benz user experience here is also enhanced by specific AMG features, uh, which makes it even more attractive. Well, I definitely see a combination of beauty, brains and brawn with these three. Yes, uh, definitely. I, I would uh, totally agree. And this is our aim to win new target groups over to Mercedes AMG. And it's important for us to create a close emotional link between the car and the driver, which means also intuitive communication without any misunderstanding. And um, with this, it gives also our customers more room for individuality. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Michael. Now, the most important question would be, what is the price of these three beautiful beasts? Yes, of course, I'm more than happy to share the pricing. It starts with the AMG A35 Edition 1, which mm -hmm. is priced at uh, 379,888, mm -hmm. while the Mercedes AMG 40, uh, 45S Formatic Edition 1 is priced at uh, 459,888, mm -hmm. and uh, the Mercedes AMG CLA 45S Coupe is priced at 448,888 Malaysia Ringgit. That's interesting. And I'm, I'm very convinced once the customers have taken test drive on any of these three cars, they will immediately go forward with a booking. <laughs> they cannot say no to that. So to customize your new ride, go on, head on to mercedesbenz.com.my. And for those of you who have just joined us, if you have any additional questions, go ahead and post them in the comment box. And in the next Q&A segment, we'll select a few to answer. For now, we're going to take a short break with this closing video. Check it out. There you have it. Our newcomers definitely offer more of everything. More power, more driving performance, and of course, more driving fun. Before we end, we've selected a few questions from our viewers today. So let's check it out. I think the first question we could take is probably, how would you see the recovery post-MCO for Mercedes-Benz Malaysia? It's a question for my boss. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, great. Thank you for the question. Um, well, recovery for us is, uh, I think, in, in two stages mm -hmm. uh, and in two, two pillars, I would phrase it. Uh, one is basically safeguarding the health uh, okay. and, uh, and the safety of our customers and our staff in mm -hmm. our operations. 
So um, as we talked before, we implemented quite a number of uh, SOPs yeah, mm -hmm. in uh, that area, which we call the Mercedes-Benz Star okay. Shield, in order also to uh, yeah, um, implement and uh, cater for the safety of our customers there. This is, I think, very much important. The other thing is that we are basically going forward in uh, driving our best customer experience strategy, um, coming from a pure physical uh, retail organization in the past to a seamless online to offline um, yeah, offering mm -hmm. of, uh, of touch points, of interactions uh, with our customers and uh, we are going forward for this. And very much important in this area, is in, in this in these times, yep. uh, are the digital touch points we are implementing. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next question: Will we see more than one variant of the CLA model launched in Malaysia? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's a question for me. Um, for the time being, we plan to focus on the CLA 45 S AMG only. And uh, typically, we don't talk about our future product plans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is a good question. Why is the A45S much more expensive than the CLA45S? <laughs> okay, I'll take that question as well. First of all, I would say it's not that much more expensive, um, but there is an easy explanation. While from a performance side, as I explained earlier, yeah. They are quite similar uh, in terms of all overall performance. Uh, there are some um, significant equipment differences. Right. Um, we have decided uh, to equip the AMG, um, AMG A45 with the Edition 1 package, uh, mm -hmm. which among other features includes the uh, um, AMG Aero package, um, right. as well as the Knight package, mm -hmm. to give it a more sporty and more radical look. Right. Um, while the AMG uh, CLA45S uh, retains the, the normal, um, I would say, more elegant look. Um, um, ultimately, the Edition 1 package makes a price difference. Yeah, brilliant. I guess that, hope that answers your question. Um, let's see. Will Mercedes-Benz launch an online sales platform? Well, maybe i take this one. <laughs> um, we are offering a number of very various um, you know, portfolio of online um, devices and online touch points already. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, basically from con configuring a car, a mm -hmm. car configurator, to um, you know, booking a test drive, mm -hmm. you know, getting in touch with uh, <coughs> our staff yeah, mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in, the, in the retail. So it's already there. Yeah? And uh, I think that uh, our customers can really choose from these topics. Yeah? Uh, again, also a lot of social media communication there. Yep. Um, and we're going all this way down to what I said before, a seamless online to offline offering of a best customer experience. Brilliant. Yeah. Dr. Weidner, you mentioned test drive. I think there was one question. Well, we can do one more question, right? Okay, one more final question, if that's okay with you, sure, gentlemen. Sure. Can we arrange for a test drive from the comfort of our home? Michael. Yes, uh, I'm happy to answer that question. Yes, of course. Uh, and that was not even um, uh, in this phase now, even before we had the all COVID challenges. Uh, but obviously now going forward, that offer by our dealer partners is even more relevant. And yes, it's uh, our customers not only have the possibility to book their test drive online on our Mercedes-Benz uh, Malaysia webpage, um, they can also start the test drive, test drive from the comfort of their home. So yes, that service is available and will remain available. Brilliant. For those of you who have posted your questions but have not gotten them answered, our digital team will do their best to respond to as many as they can. So thank you so much for bearing with us. Um, so to summarize everything up, to book a test drive and to customize your new ride, go to mercedesbenz.com.my. And with that, we conclude the show. Thank you so much, Dr. Weidner, thank Michael. You. And Thank to Anna. each and every single one of you for tuning in today. If you're sharing your favorite parts of this digital web launch experience, go ahead and tag us at Mercedes-Benz Malaysia so that we can keep track of your posts and show you some love. Here's to moving towards being together again, one step at a time. Take care and stay safe. Oh, you guys are still here? Okay, awesome.
So don't forget to like, subscribe and share to the Speeding Mall for the latest automotive updates, news, events, grassroots events especially. Stay tuned to the Speeding Mall.